Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Michael and today I'm going to be sharing with you my take and recipe on chicken parmesan. Stay with me and I'll show you how easy it is to make and it is so good. Let's get started making our chicken parmesan. We're going to start with our chicken. I've got two chicken breasts here and these are really thick. I'm going to take these and cut these in half and this will serve four. All right, that's a more manageable piece. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and I'll be right back and show you the next process. All right, so the next process now that we've got our chicken breast cut in half is I'm going to take a, a Ziploc plastic bag here. I've got a gallon bag. If you don't have these and you've got some uh, cling wrap, you can do that. Just put down two pieces, one on the bottom, and then we'll put the chicken breast between it and put the one on the top because we'll be using our mallet here and we're going to pound these down a little bit. So I found that this works a little bit easier because you can seal this up and keep all the chicken uh, juice and everything that would try to splatter in this bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the bag and I'll show you what we're going to do next. I'm going to go wash my hands. All right, now that I've got my hands washed, I'm going to go ahead and seal this bag up. And then I'm going to take my mallet and I'm going to pound this down a little bit just to kind of make it an even uh, texture across. We've got one side of the chicken breast that's a little bit thicker than the other one and we want it to cook evenly, so we're just gonna kind of pound this out a little bit. All right, we've got the meat there that I used the mallet on, and you can see that I've got that to be pretty consistent way across. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three pieces, and then I'll get my dredging station set up, and I'll show you how we're gonna bread our chicken. I'll be right back. All right, I've got all four pieces of the chicken that I've pounded out now so that it's kind of all the same size. And I'm going to set up my dredging station so we can show you how we're going to bread this. First, I'm going to go wash my hands. All right, now that I've got my ingredients here that we're going to be dipping our chicken breast in, we'll go ahead and get started on that process. So as you remember, I had my, my two chicken breasts here that I've cut in half and I've got those pounded flat. And then I've got two eggs here in this bowl and I'm going to whisk those together. Now that I've got the eggs whisked together, let's go ahead and I'll go through the other ingredients. Right now I've got about two cups of flour here for that. And then for this last bowl here, I have grated up some Parmesan Reggiano really finely. And I'm going to be putting that in. That's just a little over probably half a cup of that. And then I've got some plain Italian plain breadcrumbs. And that's about a half a cup of those that I've got measured out here. And then I've got some Italian style and I've got a cup of those. So we're going to put that in this bowl here and we're going to give those mixed together. So there's my Italian ones. And these are the plain ones. And then I've got my Parmesan cheese that I've got that I've got grated up. And I'm going to give that a little whisk through. And now we're going to put a little salt and pepper in. A little bit of salt and then we'll go in with our pepper. All righty, let's mix that through. Now we're ready for our chicken. We've got that here ready to go. I'm going to take one of the chicken breasts and I'm going to take it and put it in the flour and we're going to give that a good coating on that on both sides. Once we've done that, we'll take that and we'll put that in our egg mixture and give both sides a good coating of that. And then we'll go right into our panko mixture and cover both sides of that. So now we've got our panko on our chicken. We're going to put that in a plate. I'm going to go ahead and do the other three pieces and I'll meet you at the stove and we'll show you what's going to happen next. All right, we're here at the stove and I have my carbon steel pan on the stove and I'm heating that up and I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, neutral vegetable oil in the bottom of this skillet. That should be about enough. Just want to put enough in there so that the uh, chicken gets a nice even brown uh, crust on the outside of it. That's the purpose of what we're doing now. So we're going to pan fry it a little bit and then we're going to put it into the oven. I've already got my oven turned on now and it's uh, uh, preheating out of 425. And as soon as we get through putting the chicken in the skillet here, we'll probably put it in there about two minutes on each side. 
and then we'll take it out and then we'll prep the chicken then for the oven and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. So I'm going to show you now the process of frying this chicken. All right, my skillet is heated up. Let's see. Oh yeah, if we're ready to go with that and it looks like it is ready to go. So we're going to put two pieces in at a time. And we're going to cook that for about two minutes on each side. All right, let's give that a look and see where we're at with that now. Okay, that has got a nice brown crust on it. So let's turn that over. That's looking good. We're going to continue to cook this and I'll cook the other two pieces and then I'll show you what the next process is when we get ready for the oven. All right, we're back and I've got my chicken uh, cooked here on the outside. We've got a nice color on that. So we're ready to dress up our chicken parmesan for the oven. So I've got two uh, 9 by 13 glass pans here and I put a little bit of parchment paper in the bottom of them and I'll be putting the chicken on that that way that that paper will kind of soak up a little bit of that grease that was left from the frying and it won't be sitting in that while it's cooking and it'll come out with a nice uh, bottom on it instead of it being soggy so that's just a little trick I do but you don't have to do that if you don't want to and I've got both of these pans here with the parchment paper in the bottom all right so let's go ahead and get started on these so I'm going to go ahead and put my the chicken breast in the paper now that I've got my chicken in my glass pans, I just went on and went out and bought some pasta sauce. If you have a good recipe that you like to make your own pasta sauce, I've got several on my channel. I'll put some of those links in the description box below. You can check out some of those. But for today, I'm just using a jar of pasta sauce here. And so I'm going to take a spoon and I'm just going to kind of put a little bit on each one of these in the middle. You don't want to drown them in it. You just want to put a little bit in the middle. See, I've just kind of got them with just a little bit of the pasta sauce on the top. And I've got some mozzarella cheese here. I'm going to give that a grate. And then we're going to put some of that mozzarella on top of our chicken. All right, I've got just a little bit uh, grated up there. So I'm going to put some on the top of my sauce. All right, I have my chicken with my sauce and my mozzarella on it. And what's not, but just a little bit more cheese. I'm going to put some more of this Parmesan on top of that. All right, I have my cheeses now on my chicken and I'm gonna show you what that looks like close up. All right, here we go. We've got our chicken breast with the pasta sauce and our cheeses on top of it and we are ready for the oven. We're gonna put this in our preheated 425 degree oven and we're gonna cook that for about 10 to 15 minutes until this is done. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pasta ready and my bread because I'm gonna be having this with some pasta and some garlic bread tonight. So with that, I will see you back when everything is done and we're ready to eat. I am back now and I've got my chicken out of the oven. As you can see, it's got a nice uh, brown to it. The chicken is done, the cheese is melted, and we're ready to plate and eat this. And I'll come back and we'll do a taste test. We'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, we have our dish ready to eat here. I've got my chicken parmesan, I've got some spaghetti, and I've got some garlic bread. And let's give this chicken a taste and see how it is. Well, that crust on that looks so delicious. Look at that, incredible. That is really delicious. Try my take on chicken parmesan. It is so easy to make and comes together so fast. And if you like this content, maybe you might want to check out one of these other two over here. You might find something else you like. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And let me know in the notes below how your chicken parm comes out. Bye-bye now.